in terms of what you see nowadays, let's just talk to people. What is the most played out fashion accessory that you see? Or played out fashion? Yeah, played out that like, that's you see on everyone and like, ah, oh, stop it. It could be anything. What? I never, I've never had been this. Never had it. Never had But we, we all know, we, we all know who inspired that. Yeah, yeah but you know, Easy. and, and, and <laughs> good, on for being, good on him for being different. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. Like, um, don't shy away from being different. But because you be wearing it, I don't want to see every man's dog in leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it's in summer. Me, that's what I have to play out fashion. Okay, uh, well, I, I sort, I sort of disagree with that because mm-hmm. I wear them. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what My brother, my brother wears them too, bro. I'm not lying. My brother loves them. You know what I mean? My brother loves them. Yeah. And like ADY and our uh, pirates, like they're big massive brands. Yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. They're the next level. Streetwear is um. It's massive now. Yeah. So I ain't gonna do for anyone that wears them. Mm. But for me, um, it's a it's a seasoned fashion item. Yeah. And I don't really drop on season. I'm not, I'm a basic man. Yeah. yeah. So that's me. Yeah, you kill it with the trap star. Yeah, I'm just wearing plain stuff, man. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? That's me. So yeah, I hear that. Each to their own. Each to their own. Definitely. How about you, Cam? What's the most played out fashion accessory that you might be tired of seeing? Like he's saying, he's tired of seeing man with leather pants. Yeah, so stop wearing leather pants, you ain't Kanye. You ain't cool, Chris. Stop wearing leather pants. <laughs> um, it's touching on what um, Nathan said. I would say the oversized, the oversized okay. tees and zips. Oversized. I think, I, think, I think that look is getting played out. Like, mm. I think everybody's like into the zips and the oversized clothing at the moment. Yeah. Think, you know, some of the um, rappers um, have had a big influence on that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just. I don't know if it's an accessory or a style, but people that dress like Morpheus. Have you seen them from the Matrix? Like, it's the kind of the oversized. Yeah, not even leather coat, like it's a woolly oversized, everything oversized. Yeah, so just long layers of layers. Yeah, long layers of layers of layers. I'm like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the things I'm like, you know, like. You have to, some things, let's get one quick, some things you have to be famous to get away with. Yeah, that's yeah, what I think. That's, that's certain, that's certain things you have to be famous definitely. to get away with. Even when you're famous, that's still who you can yeah, get. Yeah, away. yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. certain yeah. styles, like, you have like, to even, like, in my generation, come to football, we used to play football. Yeah. Uh, man, that wore white boots. Yeah. yeah. You better be the best player. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or you put on white or red boots. You better be, you better have the tech. Yeah. Or, or, I've been at Apple with a one time. You got ripped. For wearing pink or white boots, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So you're gonna start like that, yeah. yeah. Be special, man. You know what I mean? Definitely. No doubt, no doubt. Well, again, we're lo- we're located in London. We're trying to showcase the um, London life and the London sneaker community and the fashion culture in London. What do you think is like the most trendy underground place in London that you may know of? It could be to buy sneakers, something that's underground that's not bait. You know what I'm saying? So let's not say. It. Example, let's not say Shoreditch. Because it seems like everyone goes Shoreditch now. You know what I'm saying? So what what do you think is like a, a nice place in London that's not really bait or even just trendy? It's got trendy people there, but no one really knows it. Well, for me, a uh, trendy spot in London with dope kits, dope clothes, art, hip hop, fresh laces, man. That's <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I like that. Fresh laces. And what about you, Cam? That's probably the spot. That question there, man. Um, boy, I'm not even sure. We'll, we'll come back to I'm you on that. Sure. We'll come back to you. The top of my head. Well, for me, this going to sound weird now, yeah? And people are like, what? But it's got like a negative stigma about it. But one of the trendy places that I think that it's London, that's on the ground, is Peckham. Peckham. Like, I seriously think like when we go back and mm. you see some people that are swiped out. Now obviously yeah. people What you mean the area? Because I thought you were talking about a shop. Not even a shop, just yeah. anything like area. area. I think where we are now, Camden. I'll say right now, yeah. Camden. Camden, Camden is, is 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 a tourist mark of London. I'm not saying it's the end where it's of choice, mm. but you, this is a worldwide place that people wanna come. They do wanna come to Camden, they wanna come to Camden a lot, there might be all types of people mm. around it. So definitely Camden. Okay, you say you say it's Camden. I'm sticking to my ends as well. 
Campbell Peckham that's places trendy. I'm telling you that. You go there now, you see all these hipsters everywhere now. I don't know that Campbell College of Arts is attracting so many hipsters. I'm seeing them like, are you guys going short it? They're like, nah, we're going out in Campbell. And I'm like, bro, like, I think that's one of that's one of the trendy places in London that people need to be aware of. Like, go there, taking the culture. It's different. And the thing that I like is that it's got different cultures all within one. I love that. I love that for again, that's what you get in Camden as well. You know what I'm saying? Every man's just, everyone's just united. Last question that we that I want to talk, I want to touch on. And again, it's got nothing to do with race or anything because we don't touch race on here. But is there like a little, is there segregation within the sneaker community? Is there like groups that are like, you, we don't, we don't want you here. Like, and it's, it's, it's like we don't want you man to try and take our spot. Because we're the number one heads in the UK sneaker scene or something like that. <laughs> is, is, is there, is, is that in the sneaker community? It's like, black mean girls, you can't sit with us. Is, there, <laughs> is, is that like, is that within the sneaker community? Well, like, if being pay, you know, uh, be up front. It That's is, what we want. It is, it is. You know, it definitely, it definitely, is. definitely there in that regard. Mm-hmm. I come like a year ago, started an event. Killed it, I was there. I was like, there. Uh, all the heads come out, we, all the sneaky heads come out, it's, it's a sneaky head love. But, yeah. you know, from from different factions or whatever, that love weren't there. Yeah, and yeah. they got past not just showing love, they got to sort of half black or you know what I mean? So, Serious. So it is there, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, we're not, we're not feeling that, man. If everyone's, everyone, it's all about unity, you know what I'm saying? If someone's coming in, yeah. show love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to beg friend and like, bug man or sign. But show of respect, respect the game, respect the hustle. Because if they're black, if guys are blackballing you, then it's not about it's not about that. We're here, we're all here to eat and work off the passion of sneakers.